All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachak Dash, who have given me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yashallah. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, out there enduring this truth across the four corners of the earth, teaching in sincerity. Looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America today, by way of prophecies of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Real quick lesson, uh, it's just, you know, it. I was riding and thinking and thinking and riding. Uh, after I watched a couple movies, I had watched The Matrix, as well as I had watched uh, Transporter 2 with Jason Statham in it. And uh, for the most part, it's just, you know, keeping keeping your poise, keeping your, 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 your game face on, just, you know, understanding the times that we in, of course, and... Uh, you know, just sticking to what you know and applying that, utilizing that. You know, uh, there's no point in having knowledge if you're not going to use it, okay? So, as um, far as the two movies, of course, we all know about Matrix. I was thinking about the part where he was trying to break Morpheus, you know. And, you know, he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't let him crack his mind, so to speak, which was irking him. It was pissing him off. He's talking about, why is the serum not working? You know, just like now we're filled with the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and the, the, the serum of, of Babylon doesn't work on us anymore. All right. By way of the Lord's protection, by way of his grace, by way of his mercy, by way of his, of his power. And as uh, far as uh, Transporter 2, it, he had a set of rules that he stuck by. OK, he had a set of rules that he stuck by. And um, throughout the movie, you had people who pretty much was despising him for having these sets, uh, sets of rules to live by, all right? And and that that's that's what we are. That's that's we are people who live by a set of rules, okay? To our best ability, which is the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shimia all right? Which who, the ones who he made a covenant with, gave uh, a covenant with, gave the promises to, gave the adoption to, Okay, the grace, the kinsmanship, uh, the uh, citizenship of being a, a peculiar people, to be his chosen people, his sanctified people, so on and so forth. We are the Lord's chosen people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, you know, on this first go round, the, the, the men of the Lord, the elect, will be living their best ability by those sets of rules, no matter you know, no matter what, that that is the the strength of their salvation, so to speak. I just want to get this right quick because I didn't have it written down, but it, it came up. It came up. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter nine, verse seven. It says, "And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed." That, that's what it is. We believe in these laws, these rules that we uphold of the Most High, keeping them in our best ability, okay? And having faith, of course, which faith without works is dead and vice versa, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me, uh, for me from the beginning. And that's what it is. You can't come to the Lord. The Lord has to choose you. The Lord got to guide you unto salvation this is not no uh you know you you win a sweepstakes and, and you get salvation or you you put in a number and a raffle ticket and you get no the lord the lord knows who's his okay so uh i just want to get in a bit of uh not just in the sense of anger just you know uh judgment being clouded in a sense or di uh discernment being uh kind of blurry you know, because the times that we're in and the times that we know that's coming up close is going to be a lot of temptation. It's going to be a, a lot of um, uh, trying to make you, you know, denounce the faith in a sense. All right. A lot of temptation, a lot of tribulation, a lot of persecution, so on and so forth. You know, and at the end of the day, you got to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You have to trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Whoever trusts in him is what's confounded. You're not going to find one. 
Okay, so this is Ephesians 4 and 26. It says, be ye angry and sin not. Hell yeah, we are angry. We're mad. We realize the truth about this world, the truth about history, the truth about our nationality, so on and so forth. All right. But we, we are not to sin. We are not to act upon that anger. Okay. We, 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 we are not supposed to go and be a rebel with it. Okay, or do things the way we want or on the time that we want to do. There's a time and a season for everything. Right? It says, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. It's, what's the point of being, you know, you, you're going to get angry. But what's the point of staying angry all day? You ain't going to be able to get nothing done. You're going to sit there with your arms folded, with your lip poked out. Man, we're winning through the spirit of y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. We're winning. All right? We are winning. Esau knows it, and and we we supposed to know it, all right. We should, we we know that they want to do all these YouTube rules because they don't want that word going out there. They making their moves because they don't want that word going out there, just as they did when you reading the story of Acts, okay? Locking them up and persecuting them for teaching in the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. It says neither give place to the devil, right? Don't allow the devil to feed off your negativity. Your negative thoughts, your doubt, okay? Because he's the tempter. That's his job is to make you feel like shit, to be blunt, all right? We ain't got time for that. We got to keep pushing. You you going through some things, okay, you're in that moment, get your ass up and keep it moving. Pray to the Lord, talk to the Akium, fellowship with the Akium, you know, and, and, and keep moving because, you know, living water ain't, ain't meant to be stagnant, man, okay? It says, uh, oh, yo, Salaki, yeah. So we're going to jump over into Peter's right quick. It says, uh, 1 Peter's 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, all right? Having a clear mind, okay? Let's double check this vision. I haven't looked it up in a while. It says, uh, to watch, metaphor, give strict attention to, so be cautious. He's <laughs> right, yeah, active, okay? To take heed, lest through remission and indul indulgence, some destructive calamity suddenly overtake you sitting there being stagnant, not doing anything, all right? You got to be vigilant. You got to watch. Be circumspect. That's what the scriptures tell us, okay? Being sober, of course, is having that clear mind, all right? You, you, can't, you can't think angry. You're going to be reckless if you try to do things angry. And why we ought to be this way? Be sober and be vigilant, uh, vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, right? And, and that's his whole uh, goal is to destroy you, all right, for to win you over on his side, okay? Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. We all go through it. You're not alone. You are not alone, okay? There is no temptation I have taken that is common unto men. We go. We all go through the same things. Just It's tailor-made for you. The Lord know what it takes for you to to uh to make you and the Lord knows what it takes to break you. Okay? And if he wants you to be on his side, he's going to make you in a sense of he he's going to strengthen you. All right? He's going to put you through things that can strengthen you, allow you to become more disciplined and realize, you know, you need to be this way or that way, and if he wants you broken, you're going to be broken. Period point blank. All right? It says uh let me see. It said I gotta give I gotta get this with it. It says, but the but the power of all grace who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. After that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. That's what it is. It's to make or break you. But you know, it, it, hey, you gotta you gotta do your part, man. You know, you have to do your part. Okay. This is uh and here we go. You know, Satan was tempting the Lord himself. All right. And look how the Lord handled it. Look what he stuck to. He, you know, it says Matthews 4 and 1. Then was Yahweh Shai led up, uh, led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of the most high, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High. 
Then the devil taketh him up into the holy into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Yahweh said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kings of the world, uh, kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Yahweh unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Why did that devil have to? He didn't give him no place. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. It, it, you got to stay strong, be strengthened, be grounded in, 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 in what you, and firm in what you believe in, man. Being established, okay? He's The Lord stuck to what he knew, all right? He didn't try anything fancy. He wasn't, you know, playing with him, and all right, check this out. You know, like I was just talking with a brother. Hey, he, he was trying to get him to, you know. Use his spiritual power as well. He like, nah, man. What I gotta do that for? I, I know what I'm here for. And this is, of course, after he done fasted forty days and forty nights, man. So you know he was weakening. And that's why the angels came and ministered unto him. Okay. As they do it unto us as well, man. When we're weak and we're down and we feeling in that slump, how do you think you get back up? You know, it's by the comforter, by the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shimmy Shai, man? That's why this is what you're supposed to turn to. You turn to the comforter. You turn to the power in those moments. All right, when you feeling angry and when you pissed off at the world, you use that and you convert that energy and, and dish it back out by lessons. Um, by, by, you know, fasting and doing some studying and, and thing and prayer, of course, and, and you know, get anointed and, and go fellowship with the Akim, do the things that the world or, or, or Satan doesn't want you to do towards your how about Shimmy I was shy when you're feeling like that. Does that mean that from here on out, I'm never going to get angry? And no, it doesn't mean that, but keep this, you know, keep this mindful, be mindful of this, man. We have these scriptures for a reason. All right, this is our weapon right here, okay? This is Romans 12 and 17. It's the last bit, and I'll let y'all go. It says, Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Yeah, we know he saw the devil. Yeah, we know we hate Babylon. Yeah, we know this place ain't shit. So on and so forth. Our women and our children and, and society and jobs and all of this and that. But... At the end of the day, keep that smile on your face, you know, keep that smile on your face. All right. It says, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Ain't no point in being all belligerent at the moment. It's not time for that. The vengeance is, uh, let me shut up. <laughs> Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. And giving that place to wrath is, hey, don't do nothing about it, you know. Let it let it marinate. So when the Lord come and the Lord give you that power, you then hey, then you get the cooking, so to speak. All right. Then you then you get the you know cooking then. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink, for in so doing thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Not meaning, you know, you, you, of course, with discernment. All right. Does that mean you out there on the highways and eat might come up, you know, trying to interrupt your worry? Like, come on, brother, let's go get some eat. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? It means, like it says, heap them hot, heap them coals of fire on their head. Don't let them see you sweat. Don't let them break you. That's what society is here for, to break us, man. All right. Just like the agents was trying to do Morpheus. They here to break us so we can consort back to the the uh, uh, the wicked ways and the perverse ways that we was doing. Nobody had a problem with Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans picking up the Bible until we was calling ourselves the Lord's chosen people. Man, that's what they don't like. They don't like the the power that in the name of Yahweh Shimei was shy. They don't like that. 
They don't like the doctrine that we bring. And, and who else had the same problem? The Lord had the same problem. Here it is. The, 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 they had a system. The, the, those, uh, uh, the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they had a little uh, a system going. They was in cahoots, some of them, with the Romans. And, and then the Lord come on the scene, basically like, forget y'all system. This is how it's going to be ran. I'm the son of the Heavenly Father. Like, what? Oh, he about to know it. We ain't having that. Look how long Christianity been doing this thing for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So to speak. But once the Lord had that word come back out, as, as you read in John and Luke, I mean, I said, Lucky, I said John and Luke. As in, you read uh, about John the Baptist and Luke and what he was going to do. He was going to turn our people back to the ways of the Heavenly Father. And that has happened in these times, man. All right. That has happened in these times on down to the least of us till this day, man. The Lord is about to bring judgment upon America and we got to endure this thing, man. Lord willing. Okay. It says, be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Try to stay positive. Try to stay calm. Give no place for the devil. Let the Lord do his work. And you do your work and keep your faith through his will. Lord willing. All right. That that's it. That that's that's what we gotta do. Okay. Hey, with that, call law. Y'all by Shimmy Alshot, by Shimon Karka Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah and salutations and blessings to you. I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth, as well as you uh the men, women, and children that follow. Shalom.